come along with me as I join the Polar Ride for the first time. This video is going to be full of adrenaline and good times. I met a lot of good people and I hope to see each one of you again very soon. The Polar Ride happens once a year during January. As you'll see in the video, it was wet and cold, everyone, cold. However, that did not deter anyone from this group. As a disclaimer, if you plan to join next year, please know that you should be confident riding at a fast pace with a large group that just loves to roll down the road. But hey, that's what makes a ride memorable. Please watch until the end and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now on to the intro that's pretty awesome in my opinion. I was trying to figure out where to start it, but uh, we're just gonna start it here on the road, man. So right now, I am on my way with my man Daryl back there. We are on the way to uh, meet up people over in Terrell, Texas, because we are gonna participate for the first time ever in the Polar Run, everybody, the Polar Run. And as the video goes on, I will explain what that's about, and you're just gonna see, but basically it's just a bunch of dudes just brawling out, you know? But uh, anyhow, there's a lot of things I've done to my motorcycle that I'm going to test out on this trip as well. One of them is this camera here. It's a new camera. Let me know if you like it. Um, and I'll tell you which one it is later on or in the comments if you want. But anyhow, so I got my video designs riser here. I love it because I can see all of my gauges here on my road trip, right? Uh, obviously, my phone mounted down here. I have the uh, power vision tuner that is matched to my motorcycle so i'm gonna have a, a further review or another review on this one um of like what you can do or not but i'm testing it out as we speak so we're gonna take it for a spin and then you'll know if you're gonna want one or not but anyways this also this doesn't only tune your motorcycle but what it does 
is there's different gauges that are connected um, that the um, power vision here gets from your uh, vehicle diagnostics and what I have here is set up is the following up at the left corner I have my engine temperature right now it is uh, 306 degrees and then my uh, IAT which is my uh, intake air temperature was coming in through the throttle body that is 102 degrees and this is my ambient air temperature and that's the temperature that's outside here right now which is 59 degrees and um, I think it's a little colder but I don't know anyhow my RPMs that's what uh, the next one here is my RPMs and that's what I have there although I can see them here but why not have it there so we can uh, see what we have going on trip a economy this is telling me my average miles per gallon now this is already uh, defaulted to a preset setting in the power vision tuner i'm guessing for like a stock application but what i'm going to do on this trip i'm going to fill up with gas and i'm going to log in the miles and then i'll calculate what um, the miles per gallon is on that road trip on that trip and then i'm going to enter it and then after that we're going to have an accurate miles per gallon economy rating right here for us to know and see and have it. I think that's awesome, right? Now, the new one wants you to have it, but I figured why not put it on here, on this gauge uh, power vision tuner here. And then the twist position. Uh, the twist position is your throttle position. So right now I show zero because I have it a cruise control. But here I took it off cruise control and now my throttle position is 14, 15, 16. So it logs your throttle position. So that is what's on the screen here on the gauges here and there's other gauges and then other screens you can add other diagnostic information on your motorcycle so i didn't know that this power vision tuner had all of these uh, uh benefits and very nice uh i guess little easter eggs in there because i'm like wow i'm like it's um it's a ton of information that uh, is available or has been available to us but you just gotta buy this thing here this tuner here which um which i have and i want to say it's like i don't know i think it's like five or six hundred bucks or 550 but so far i'm really pleased with it we are here at loves everybody and uh, it is super super foggy and i'm super happy that i have the baja lights because uh in yellow because um it is uh cutting right through the fog matter of fact i'll probably i should probably just take this one off here and uh and uh and just have them both on because it's getting darker and people so more people couldn't see me but anyways the hot rod bagger with uh, last time it was tuned it was 167 um, horsepower but that was before so right now it needs to get retuned because we got the new air cleaner and the fuel moto uh jackpot jackpot rtx 221 uh exhaust so that's uh that's uh, uh has to get retuned but i have it on auto tuner or on auto tune with my power vision there so but anyhow but everything's good man i mean she looks like a beaut let me tell you man and i'm over here with my man daryl check out his bike it's perfect man how you feeling man you're in the camera you good yeah he's all excited because he got that apple car play now so he's good man <laughs> yeah absolutely so now the plan is we're gonna go to um Terrell, Texas, and we're just gonna wait for everybody to get there. So, and I'm gonna try to figure out how to put this uh, on the CVO here. <laughs> Right, everyone let's do it I knew it was dirty we were, I knew it was raining but I did not expect to see all of this dirt right here all up in my in my uh, risers here and I'm just gonna move the camera down here look at this I got dirt all up over here probably by my business too and uh, it's like oh my god you just saw how clean my motorcycle was and um, but good lord man it is Anyways, we are on, we are in route to the Polaroid. Now I have to figure out where to wash it. Man! Man, everybody, so we made it to our destination. 
but look at this it was clean look at this the air filters leaking water like <laughs> dang man my swing arm what the heck man well this is what i don't understand like the wind goes like this it goes up and then it got all up on my gas tank on my gauges up here jeez that blows I mean, we made it safe though yeah, yeah, yeah we made it though but golly look at this just filthy <laughs> golly man everyone let me move over here we are here at Bucky's in Terrell Texas and um, I wanted to take a quick video I know I've already done some already but I wanted to take a quick video because um, we're one of the first ones to show up it's around 7 30 as you can see my motorcycle here it is filthy 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 and it's I'm bummed out because well it was filthy and it was super clean beforehand and uh, my trash swing arm and the motor witch jugs and cylinders everything is filthy but that's what happens when the road y'all nonetheless i would be remiss if i it didn't say that it hurt my feelings but anyhow so we're here at the wonderful bucky's and uh there's four bikes over there a couple of bikes over there and some more over there so i think this is going to be the area where we're going to meet up i'm about to top off and then um after that we're going to roll out there so it's my first time going here there's a lot of guys that are here for the first time and we're excited to um to be here and to hang out in terms of the temperature it's like a cold windy i want to say like 42 degrees but with the wind chill factor it dips down into the 30s and of course we're going to probably be rolling knowing this uh this group here which is right up my alley and uh <laughs> and yeah so anyhow so stay tuned because we're gonna have a blast and i'm gonna take you with me on my journey let's do it
Okay, update. We haven't got to Shreveport yet, but we are on the side of the road. My bike is way over there, right there. And then there's another group over there, if you can see them. And we're all right here, simply because, oh man, Dwayne here apparently ran out of gas. So <laughs> make sure y'all have some fuel uh, um, on uh, your super high performance exotic builds like his and so on. But no, we're all here. We're safe. So I just wanted to provide an update that uh, we're having some fun here on the polar ride. On the polar ride. It's been pretty pretty exciting i should say but uh as always when you're inside the road especially coming down like the hill like this and we're on the side of the road like this it's obviously dangerous and we have to uh keep an eye out for well for the dangers of the roads and stuff and it's you know the, the road's still wet here the highway's still wet we're on i-20 and uh so just uh you know there's always that safety precaution that we have to kind of um be aware of all the time so anyways continuing on <laughs> to our trip to uh uh, I guess the polar ride ride to Shreveport, uh, Louisiana. So, <laughs> what's up, bro? Shit. Now it is. Yeah! You, hey, shake and bake, baby! Shake and bake, baby! We already ate, we had some food, and uh, it was delicious now. I believe we're here close to the casino area, and we're all having nothing but a good time. Um, just uh, just rolling over here. If you saw my the footage on 360, then that's to deal with that. But uh, a quick report on the Hot Rod Bagger. Fully reliable, nothing wrong with it, and just having nothing but a good time. 
here we go. Where are we at? Here we are. Sam's Town, that's where we're at. Here we are. Good morning everyone. Today is the next morning. It is 37 degrees and uh, everybody's still here. Everybody had a good time. But I just want to look at these bikes because um, a lot of these are really nice high performance bikes here and all that good stuff. This is beautiful ones. Trash swing arm, all that jazz, Rebels Den. Beautiful man. So I want to show you guys the, the bikes that are out here because all these people Came out here, rode, had a good time. Great camaraderie, which is one thing that I love about this community. Uh, this bad boy here is awesome, like the rest of them are as well. But I just like the, the camaraderie, uh, everybody getting together, just having a good time, and uh, just living it up, you know what I mean? Living it up, enjoying the moment. It's not the best of uh, weather conditions, if you will, to, um, to ride, because it is so cold out here. A group of people wanted to get together and ride this uh, now called Polar Ride and uh, come out and have a good time. You know what I mean? So we're down here. There's another road light over there. I'm trying to get the camera to get it. So we're out here. Had a great time. Everybody was so cool, man. Uh, and to everybody that I met, you know, I will hope to see you guys again really soon because. It was just it was just it was just good man so this is my first ride of 2024 and probably all of these guys as well and look at these diablos I like that I like that and uh first trip of 2024 and uh it was just a great time man everybody came out showed out and let me tell you man all these people can ride all of them can ride there is no uh there's my cvo right there the hot rod these people can ride man there was no holding back so if you do want to come next year everybody's more than welcome to come but i will say that this ride you have to have some level of uh, confidence and experience riding at certain speeds and um and all that jazz but you definitely need to be uh comfortable riding at a certain speed obviously with a group this this size and man it's just i'm just very happy and blessed to be a part of but of course the number one MVP is my wife taking care of my son. So, anyhow, I'm going to pack up this Viking bag I have here because um, I'm going to give a review on it for you guys later on, so if you like it. But man, ain't she dirty? Man. All right, I'm going to pack it up. That's the 2024 Polar Ride. It was so much fun to ride with this group. 
The best part of this ride was meeting all of the great people. At the end, it's the friendships that make any trip and any moment the most memorable. So I end with this. I know the day when I cannot ride anymore will come at some point in my life, as for all of us. And I'll think back of all of the friendships and people that I've met along my journey and think to myself in deep thought, man, I have traveled. I've had great times. And most importantly, I'll reflect on moments like this and say, I have lived. So I encourage you to go out and ride even for a little while. Till the next time, y'all be good and ride safe.